हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आई मस गेट अकेडमी आई होप यू गाइज आर डूइंग वेल एज नाउ ओनली वन डे इज ए लेफ्ट फॉर द गेट एग्जाम सो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू वॉट यू नीड टू डू एंड वॉट यू नीड टू अवॉइड जस्ट वन डे बिफोर द गेट एग्जाम एंड ऑन द डे ऑफ द गेट एग्जाम फर्स्ट पॉइंट just one day before the get exam you need to have a proper sleep minimum 7 to 8 hours sound sleep is required if you are having a habit to study in the late night since last few months so you need to avoid that habit you need to discontinue that habit on just one day before the get exam because if you will have a proper sleep of 7 to 8 hours then only on the next day your mind and body will work in a proper manner in a energetic manner in a systematic manner okay the second point if you are having paper in the morning session or in the afternoon session you need to be assured just one day before that how far is your center from your home okay if a student is having center 10 km apart okay so if it is taking 30 minute or if it is taking 50 minute you need to have a margin of minimum 30 minute you need to take a buffer of minimum 30 minute okay so and you need to try to reach on the center on the time anyhow you need you should you should avoid to use the public transport okay try to use the cab or the auto or by your own vehicle so that you will reach on the time and there will be no last moment hurry okay the third thing when you will reach at the center you need to be hydrated also okay so before before uh, reaching at the center when you will leave your home you should have a proper food also you should not eat so much so that you will feel sleepy and you should not eat very less so that you will feel energy less okay so have a proper and a healthy and hydrated diet so your mind and body will work in a better manner the next point is when you will start your paper according to me you can start your or you should start your paper with the general aptitude because general aptitude is having a 10 10 questions only so it is having it will not take so much time if you know the concept in each and every question of general aptitude in the verbal or in the quant section then you can do it in a very very less time okay it will not it will not take very much time as compared to the to the technical subjects so you should always start from the general aptitude once you will complete all those 10 questions in the general aptitude then you need to go for the question number 1 to 25 now when you are approaching question number 1 to 25 you should have this in your mind that that the questions you already mark you need to approach with those questions also so when you are approaching the question the one thing you need to follow is the accuracy you should not go with the speed okay you should not have in your mind ki no i need to uh, approach every question with the speed no accuracy is very very important here so have one thing in your mind you need to focus on the accuracy rather than the speed okay now the third thing don't waste your so much time on the complex and the difficult question when you will start doing the question na you think you know i i i already learned this concept i know how to solve this question and you start solving the question when you start solving the question if a question is complex and difficult it will take time for the calculation so you should avoid those questions even i will say you should just hold those question if a question is time taking you can just mark on that that one you can write down the number of that question in, in your scribble pad and whenever you will just complete your paper you can come back to those questions okay because if you will waste so much time on the difficult question then the question which are easy which you can do very easily very less time you will just miss those questions so you should not do like this now the third thing is here you need to use the get virtual calculator in a very specific manner it's not that ki you are doing 12 into 2 with the calculator only so try to uh, try to use the calculator when it is actual required if it is a small calculation which you can do directly so you should do directly rather using this one and use this in a very systematic manner so that it will give you the actual answer also okay so don't be in hurry while using in the get virtual calculator also when we talk about in terms of the guess because there, there will be few question where you are not sure ki what should be the answer and in case you can you can or you want to go with the guess so first of all you should try to avoid the guessing but still if you want to go for the guessing then you should do guessing in either in the net or msq because these questions are not having negative marking 
if still you want to go in the negative marking or still you want to go with the guessing in the MCQ, then you need to minimize yourself. You need to restrict yourself that maximum three to five question I will do with the guessing if you don't know. And it's not that randomly you are doing option A is correct, B is correct. No, you need to have a logic behind that one. Go for a systematic approach, logical approach behind that guessing also. Okay, so that guessing will also help you in case of the worst. And here, if we talk about the the last thing here, so you should not miss those questions which you mark in the very first, which were very easy. So you should not miss those questions which are easy. You should not waste so much a time again on the question which are very tough. Okay, so if you will if you will go with a very strategic manner, with a systematic manner, I'm sure, dear students, you all can do very well in your upcoming get exam. And all the very best to all my dear students whatever the efforts you did since last few months since last the one year okay this is the time you need to execute your effort so these the three hours will change your life so just have a have a have a sharpest approach have a deepest approach okay, you need to execute your learning your knowledge in these three hours okay so use these three hours in the best manner so that you can get the maximum out of these three hours all right guys don't take stress have a proper sleep have a proper diet go for the best all right all the very best to all my dear students and remember one thing koshish karne walo ki kabhi haar nahi hoti all the very best my dear students